What is up guys? It's Draw La here and today I'm going to be showing you how to draw six different super easy and super cute eyes. They all are like, like some of them are happy, some of them are sad, so they all express different emotions. But before we get started with this video, please make sure to give it a big, 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 big thumbs up. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell to receive notifications so you guys know every time I post a new video. Okay, so we're getting started with the first one. And for this first one, it's just my normal eyes, like my go-to eyes. I like to start off with two sketching circles just to have an idea of where they're going to be. And then I put this kind of arc on the top and I thicken it as much as I want to. Normally, I thicken it more if the character I'm drawing is wearing makeup so that it looks like they have eyeliner or mascara on. But if it's just the normal character, I won't thicken it too much. Then, after I do that, I'm probably going to uh, sketch in the actual eye. So, I like to make this a big circle because I just think big round eyes are so adorable. And um, after that, I like to draw like another arc but turn in the opposite direction on the bottom, as you can see I did right there. Now this is like the base for the eye. All my eyes are pretty much this same shape, more or less. Um, so as long as you can get this down, you can draw any of them. Now I'm doing the pupil, so I just do this tiny black oval in the eye. I don't make it too big, but also not too small. And then I draw the highlight, which is one circle. We're going to be leaving this part white because it makes the eyes look shiny and super cute. Then, after that part, I'm going to draw in the eyelashes. And I really like experimenting with different eyelashes. But for this one, since I'm trying to keep it nice and simple, I just did your normal three-strand eyelashes. And some of the other eyes I do, though, you'll see that I might change it up. Now I have my Prisma colors, and I'm going to ink it really quickly. I just speed sped this part up because... It's nothing new, I'm just going over what I already have. And when I color the eyes, I like to choose three colors. My lightest, my medium color, and my darkest. Right now I'm coloring it all in with the lightest. Then I'm going to go in with my medium purple, and I'm going to color about halfway through with it. And then I'm going to go in with my darkest purple, and I'm going to color the top part. This is going to give it like a really cool ombre effect, where it looks like it's getting lighter as you go down. And I really like the way that looks. I also went over the pupil a little bit with the purple color, just so that it looks a little bit more cohesive. And I'm really happy with the way this turned out. First eye down, five more to go. Now for this one, I tried to give it some emotion behind it, so I decided to make sad eyes. It's pretty similar to the first eyes I did, except for the top arc. Now instead of curving it upwards like I did in the last one, you're going to curve it downwards. This is going to make the eyes, it's going to give it the shape that people have when they're sad. And then I'm just going to add in a little side part, just that I have room to put the eyelashes. And I'm going to do the big circles like I did last time, as well as the tiny line at the bottom. Then I'm going to, oh, I guess I'm thickening the thing. Oh yeah, well I always thicken it, so that makes sense. I'm also going to add like this little top part, like a little eyelid, just because when the eyes are going down, part of the eye is being covered. So... I wanted to show the eyelid, just to show that's what the eye size is supposed to be like. And here I decided to only go with a single eyelash. I thought it would just, I thought it would look nice with this design. Then I'm doing the highlights as well as the pupil. And even though I don't do it now, normally when eyes are sad, they tend to look shiny from like tears and stuff. So I'm going to go in later on and I'm going to add a second highlight. So if you guys are doing this video with me, just go on and um, add your second highlight now. I also added little tear balls on the sides, just to show that um, the person's like, just about to cry. Aww. It's okay though. And now, for this eye, I decided to make it brown eyes, a little bit more normal compared to the last one where I did purple eyes. But why not, you know? You're supposed to have fun when you draw, so. And I'm doing the exact same thing. I'm going from light to medium to dark. Same process, nothing new. 
for the dark one, like the last time, I'm only doing it on the top, and I'm also going to color in the pupil a little bit with the darkest color. I'm also going to show you how I'm going to color in the little tears. I'm going in with this light blue color, and then I'm just going to uh, shade the corner slightly with a little bit of a darker blue. Here I'm going in with white out to add um, a second highlight. This will just make it look more sad. And like I said, you can add however many highlights you want. The more highlights you add, the cuter your character will look. So, just something to keep in mind. Now, moving on to the third eye. For this eye, I'm trying to remember what I did. Um, I can't seem to remember. Oh yeah, right. This is the surprised eyes. Now, the structure of these eyes are pretty much the same. It's just the actual eye shape that's going to be different. So instead of making it a large eye like I did with the other ones, these eyes are going to be small. And this is just going to show that if a person is surprised or scared, so their pupils dilated. That actually happens in real life, like when people get scared or surprised, their eyes get smaller. But I just exaggerate it when I draw just so that it's obvious. And when I drew it, I did the exact same thing, like I drew in the black pupil and a little shine. It's just a little bit harder to see since the eyes are a little bit smaller this time. And I didn't bother going with three colors for this one since they were so small. I just went in with one single color and colored it all in. That was really quick. Now moving on to the fourth eye. This eye is going to be angry. And contrastingly to the sad eyes, this one, the... Um, eyes are going in like a downward, upward kind of a thing. I don't know how to explain it. You guys can just see what I did. Um, the eyes are kind of narrow just to make it look angry. But, um, the eyes are going to be the same as well, like the eye shape. I feel like I could have made the pupils dilated. That could have worked too. But, um, I decided to keep them the same. Um, so I made the pupils a little bit smaller this time and kept the highlights the same. I felt like that would give it an angrier look. And for the eyelash, I also gave it like a sharp, very distinct line, just so that it kind of adds to the angry kind of look. And now I'm going in with my liner, and for the colors, I decided to make the eyes go from pink to red, just because I like when I think of red, I think of fire, and when I think of fire, I think of angry, so I think this worked out. Um, so for this one, since I'm doing kind of two different colors, it's not exactly light red to dark red, I went pink to like reddish orange to a red. And it ended up looking like dark to medium to light, so that was good. I just went with that. Okay, now moving on to the fifth eye. This eye is going to be like, um, a kind of bored slash calm eye. I guess you could use it either way. Um, we're starting out with the same circles, and for this eye, we're going to draw a line. Um, like how we did with the angry eye, we're going to draw a line through it, but this line is just going to be straight. It's not going to be angled down or anything. And we're drawing the pupils as well as the line, the line under it. And um, nothing really changes for this eye only except that we're going to add a line. So the black parts are going to be the same size, the highlights are going to be the same. Everything's pretty much the same. Only thing I did try out this time was I thought it was looking a little bit plain, so I decided to do some cool eyelashes. Um, I think Disgust from the movie Inside Out. You guys check out that movie. It's a good movie. She has eyelashes kind of like this, and I was a little bit inspired to do them like her. And I'm really happy with the way they turned out. So definitely, I recommend experimenting. Always experiment in art. Um, in my five tips video, I even, to draw, I even tell you guys that experimenting is super important in art. And you never know. You might try something and you fall absolutely in love with it. Like I am with these eyelashes. I'll link that video down below in case you guys would like to watch it. And I feel like these eyes just look so nice. Like when I think of blue eyes, I think of calm and collected. And that's exactly what I was going for in this drawing. So I'm super happy with it. And now moving on to the final eye, I decided to do something a little bit different. You know, 
we saved the best for last. It's um like the same size for everything. It's just the actual inside of the eye is going to be a little bit different. So just doing the usual here, doing the top and the circle for the eye, and then I'm gonna do the bottom. And for the eyelashes, I decided to do something where they're kind of sticking up, kind of like SpongeBob's eyelashes in um, SpongeBob SquarePants. I thought it'd be interesting to try out, and I do think it's interesting. I don't love it as much as I did with the blue eyes, but I really like them too. So for this one, I didn't do any black pupil, and I didn't draw a I didn't draw a highlight. Like the highlight is this star shape. So I only drew a highlight within the eye. And we're gonna leave this star white. And I thought it was really cool. I went in with a light yellow and then a dark yellow on top. And I feel like you could do this another way too. Maybe you could do hearts instead of stars and you can make your character look like they're in love with something or they're just super excited. For stars, I think of excitement. So maybe this person just really hyped up about something. And these are all the eyes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new. Which one is your guys' favorite? Personally, I have to go with the purple eyes. I just think they're nice and simple and just so cute. Anyway, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell down below if you guys haven't already. Bye, guys!